everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you the best trendy bags for 2024. These are going to be from brands such as Dior, Fendi, Alaya and more. So if you're curious to see what my choices are, then please keep on watching. So these are actually going to be bags that I do not currently have in my collection. So I will be including pictures either here or here. You know that I'm not a big trendy person, that I tend not to follow trends and that I prefer to kind of, you know, invest my money in very classy and classic pieces that will stay here forever. So this is why I do not have any of these bags. But the first bag that I want to show you is a bag from a brand called The Row and it's called the Margot size 10 bag and it retails for $4,290 plus tax. So this is actually a brand that I had never heard of um, until this year, <laughs> um, absolutely never heard of the brand. And this is supposedly going to be the new Birkin, or a lot of people call it that. So we're looking at a very classy um, and classic bag, something that's somewhere along the lines of quiet luxury. Um, it definitely gives me those like quiet luxury vibes. So there's no apparent logo. The bag is made out of a beautiful quality leather. You can see it right away. The lines are soft. There's no, you know, extra details like no ruffles, no sparkles, nothing like that. It's very, very quiet. Um, in my mind, it is very beautiful but I don't feel like it's worth the $4,290. That's so much money for a brand that you've never heard of until this year. So I really don't feel like the price is justified. Now, if you have like a lot of money, then yes, this is definitely a very trendy bag for this year. Next up, we have a bag from Dior and it's the Dior Small Lady D-Joy bag and it retails for $4,900 plus tax. So here we're along the same price range as um, the previous one from The Row, but obviously from a very, very famous brand. Um, and so the bag is a different shape than the Lady Dior. So if you do not like the shape of the Lady Dior, you might like this one. It is a lot more like a rectangle. Um, and it kind of reminds me of the Fendi baguette in a little way. I feel like it's, it's kind of the same, like the shape and all. Um, so it's kind of a twist on the Lady Dior um, mixing with the Fendi baguette and also obviously you are able to save money from the price of a Lady Dior. I believe now we're around like 6000 for a Lady Dior so you are still saving like about you know $1000 on it. Um, I'm not sure that this is going to be something that's going to stay. It's very trendy this year. It's very in. I feel like a lot of brands are doing this kind of like twist on their handbags. Um, Yves Saint Laurent is also doing that. Um, and I feel like the shape of a rectangle is definitely something that's in this year. But then for me, I um, am a little bit weary of, you know, buying these bags that you're buying still for a hefty price tag, like 4,900, that's pretty, pretty expensive. But then you might not be able to resell it for that much money because, you know, in the end, in maybe like two or three years, this won't be in anymore. This will just have been a trend for this year. And then, you know, you will have lost a bunch of money. I feel like as time goes by, trends go really, really fast. Like they go faster and faster. And so this is why I really, you know, refrain from doing that. But um, I feel like out of all of the bags that I'm going to show you in this video, the quote safest um, investment would be this Lady Dior bag because you're still looking at a classic brand. You're still looking at a twist of a classic model. Um, so, you know, it comes in a different variety of colors that are pretty, you know, um, kind of neutral colors like black, pink, light pink, beige, all that good stuff. So I feel like in terms of investment, this would be the safest bet. Um, I have actually never seen this bag in person, so I would have to go try it out in the store to be able to tell you a little bit more about it. I think for me, I would be a little bit wary that the bag is like too small um, for me, for my size. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I am 
5'11 or 180 centimeters, which is really, really tall. So I feel like not a lot of the things that I see online will actually fit me or fit like my body frame. So that's why I'm kind of like, mm, you know, I would definitely recommend it if you're on the shorter side um, because it's very cute. I kind of also, oh yeah, oh my God, it definitely reminds me of, what is this called? It's called like the Kelly Pochette or something like that. Um, I might not remember the name correctly, but I will try to include a picture here. And yes, 100%, oh my God, yes, 100%. It definitely looks a lot like that, like the shape and all. So, I mean, I would recommend it, but I will not go ahead and purchase it myself simply because, you know, I still feel like it's a trendy bag and I'm, I'm, I wanna stay away from trendy bags, but it is definitely my favorite one out of this entire video. Next up, we have a bag from Yves Saint Laurent and it's the Yves Saint Laurent I Care Maxi Bag and it retails for $4,900 plus tax, so exactly the same price range and the same actual exact price as the Lady Dior one. Um, so this bag is quite interesting and I think that it really fits in um, the trends for this year in the sense that it is a large bag, obviously um, it's called Maxi Bag for something, right? And I feel like this year we're kind of like moving away from this, you know, previously what I feel like was a useless trend of these mini mini bags, like think like the Jacquemus Le Chiquito, like all these mini mini, like the LV um, Nano in size 20, like all these mini mini bags that in fact you can't really fit anything in, like some of them barely a phone or not even at all, which is ridiculous so i feel like this year the trend is actually the opposite it's moving away from these small bags but then verging into the actual opposite and so the actual opposite of a mini bag is going to be a big big bag um and so this is very large um this bag is very large what's nice about it is that it fits a lot um and that it's very functional it's very practical um the reason why i am not interested in this bag personally is twofold Number one, the price, I feel like 4,900 for Yves Saint Laurent is not worth it. Um, it's one of their most expensive handbags and obviously it's for something. It's because, you know, it's currently trendy. A lot of people are trying to get it. A lot of people want to have it. But for me, the price is really unjustified for the brand, number one. And then number two, this is a bit too showy for me. It's the opposite of the bag from the row that I um, told you about earlier. That was a very kind of like classic and like understated handbag, very quiet luxury. But now this Yves Saint Laurent one is very much the opposite of it. It's very loud luxury. You can see the large logo on the bag. I mean, everyone can see that it's Yves Saint Laurent from a mile away. And at that point for me, it doesn't really fit my aesthetic. It doesn't really fit, you know, what I would like to be seen as. Um, but that being said, I know it's a very trendy bag and it's definitely one of the hottest things that you can buy right now. So our next bag is going to be the Fendi multi-pocket baguette bag and it retails for $4,600 plus tax. So Fendi is actually a brand that I never talk about on my channel. It's not a brand that I have anything from. Um, and I feel like in general, it's not really a brand that necessarily appeals to me. But um, I actually feel like this bag is somewhat interesting, or at least I'm drawn to it for it being a trendy bag, because like I said before, trendy bags are not for me. But this one is very interesting. So first of all, it has the shape that is currently in, which is a rectangle, like we mentioned before. This is the classic shape for a baguette bag from um, Fendi, so that makes sense. But what's interesting about this one, about this particular model, is that it has a variety of pockets um, on the front of the bag. So you see like the four or five different little um, Fendi logos, which normally I'm not a big logo person. Like I said for the Yves Saint Laurent bag, way too much. But here I actually feel like it's kind of cute. Um, it adds a lot to the bag and you have a variety of pockets. So it's very convenient for you to be able to find stuff. I feel like especially when it comes to not super duper large bags, um, you know, like the Fendi baguette, for example, I wouldn't necessarily place a bag organizer inside. I don't think so. Um, I feel like in that case, the bag is not large enough and it would kind of, um, you know, take up a bunch of space and then make it actually less easy to store things inside. 
but having those pockets makes it really easy to compartmentalize because otherwise I'm the type of girl that would be standing in front of her car with her bag trying to retrieve her car keys for like the entire time and then being like oh my god and then start swearing in French <laughs> that's definitely me so having these little pockets is number one attractive and I feel like it looks good it's cute it's not too much not too showy but then also very practical and I feel like you know it's something that we often overlook when we look at bags especially trendy bags because I think that we know that we'll cycle through them pretty fast we tend to overlook the practical aspects but this bag seems pretty practical um, and I feel like if it weren't a trend I'd actually be interested in getting this bag or at least in like going to see it I think that I will try to go see it just to see what it looks like in person but um, on Instagram and on YouTube I feel like it looks really good and I like this bag a lot and lastly or last bag is going to be a bag from Elia it's called the Elia Le Coeur bag that means the heart in French and it retails for $1290 plus tax so by a wide margin the cheapest bag on this list um, but personally I'm not a fan of it and notice that I'm not a fan of a lot of these bags I know that they're very trendy and if you want to be the it girl you should kind of like wear them and have them and at least be interested in acquiring them but for me it's a no-no especially on this one um, so I feel like the problem for me here is it looks very childish um, and this really reminds me of a variety of bags from Chanel actually um, so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you know that I am a hundred percent obsessed with Chanel it's my favorite brand I absolutely love their aesthetic I love you know what they stand for what they represent but I feel like lately we've seen a lot of these bags from them that I don't understand such as for example the star bag um, this is something that I really do not understand at all um, it looks very childish it's supposed to be an evening bag because of its you know size and shape and functionality it looks nothing like a classy bag at all like I wouldn't you know take that out for like a classy evening in a nice restaurant or anything I would be like concerned of people thinking that I'm like I don't know a child um, and so this Elia bag really reminds me of that so I work um, as a preschool teacher and I see a lot of like little girls you know walking in with like little handbags um, it's a nice private school so you can imagine the parents definitely buying them um, these things they walk in with like nice little handbags that look super cute for them you know like they're often in the shape of like a heart a flower a star like all that good stuff and it's very cute because they're five you know like four or five they love it it's adorable but for an adult I really do not get that um, I mean that being said out of all of these kind of like weird odd shaped um, bags I feel like the Elia one is the least bad um, it's it's better than Chanel which is kind of weird um, to say especially coming from me um, definitely the price is better the lines make it look a little bit softer and a little bit more grown up than like an actual child bag but this is still something that I can't really get behind I know that it's very kind of like trendy and you see a lot of people you know on Instagram and on YouTube like carrying them and stuff in general Alaya has been a growing brand for the past year so that does make sense but yeah the shape and the size of the bag for me it's just I, I don't get this so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I hope that this video was beneficial and informational for you in case you were looking into what's trendy what you know the major trends the major bag trends are for 2024 um, I feel like I try to you know include different price ranges but also different brands and not just like stick to Chanel notice there's not a single Chanel bag in this video it's actually a little tough um, but I made it so if you did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.